Hi, I'm Sharon Abad, immigration attorney, here with you today from my office in the area of Los Angeles, California, to talk about a very important topic that you've all asked me to talk about many times, and that is VAWA. Stay tuned. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and remind you to please subscribe to my channel. That way you receive notification every time I upload a new video with important information about immigration, things that you definitely want to know and you don't want to miss out on. In this video, I'm going to talk about VAWA case and what it's about and who can benefit and how it may help you. VAWA is intended for the uh, U.S. citizen, for a spouse of a U.S. citizen or a resident. So if you're in a situation, if for example, you're married to a U.S. citizen or a resident, but your spouse doesn't want to help you file papers, or they're kind of using your their immigration status over you as a means of control, or maybe maybe there's no physical harm, but there's um, you know control again with immigration issue. Maybe there's been threats. Maybe they've threatened to take away your kids. Maybe they've threatened to call ICE. Maybe they've rubbed it in that they're the ones working and you're not and you depend on them. Maybe they have to check your phone all the time or check your social media accounts, you know, or they won't allow you to be a parent to your children. These are all factors that are examples of types of harm that could be caused in your relationship that could actually qualify you for a valid case. A vow case means that you would file it all by yourself. You wouldn't need your spouse to sign anything. You would file it on your own. And if you qualify, you would be able to become a resident in the United States. The whole process takes about two years, but you do get your work permit in three to four months. So that's really great. And again, you don't have to get your spouse involved. This would be completely on your own. And if you prefer it to be, it can remain completely confidential. Your spouse does not have to know. You do not have to get your spouse in trouble. You do not have to file a police report. You know, you do not have to divorce or separate. Your life would remain completely normal. You would just fix your situation if you're stuck in a situation where you can't really file on your own. So this is really a great option. It's also can help you in some situations if an attorney has told you in the past that you have a permanent bar, that you are not allowed to immigrate because of a situation with your entries and exits to the U.S., this may be able to waive the case. Again, not in all situations, but in some. So it's very important that you consult with an immigration attorney to see if this is something that you would qualify for. I hope that I have enlightened you, shared some important information that perhaps you needed to hear to take affirmative action on your case. I hope to have made a difference, even if it's just to one of you out there, then I feel like this video served its purpose. And please, I hope to hear in the comments suggestions for other videos so that I can upload more topics. Again, I'm Sharon About. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you receive important notifications of new videos that I have uploaded in regards to immigration topics. See you next time.